Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make the stitch. Um, the stitch is ideal for a scarf. It would be very nice for a scarf to make a scarf with it. Um, it um, you only have to know four rows. Only four rows. The second row, you always repeat the second row um, in all, every alternate row, so it's not difficult to make. Um, hope that you try it. We start by doing the casting on and casting on we're going to make multiples of six plus two. So we we'll start with multiples of six plus two. Continue with the casting on multiples of six plus two. We we'll start the first row. The first two stitches you knit them. But I prefer the first one not to knit it. I always I never knit it the first one, so the edges become more neat. And I knit the second one. Purl, the next one. Now, I'm going to turn the thread on the needle like that. First, since the thread is over here, I put it over there. And I turn the thread on the needle like that. I take the next stitch, put it on the needle without knitting it. The next one without knitting it. Then I put the needle like this um, in both of them. And I knit them. Then, I purl the next stitch we purl it now we're going to start again from the beginning we need two one and two we purl one I put the thread on this side then I turn it on the needle like that the next one I don't knit it the next, the other I don't knit it either then I knit them from here and I purl the next one again I start from the beginning, I knit two one two I purl one I turn the, the thread like that and I put it on the needle like that I put two here without knitting them put the, the needle like that and I knit them from the front here I purl the next one and I have to finish with two stitches and those two stitches I knit them one and the last one I prefer not to put the needle from here I prefer to put it from here to here the last one and I knit it from that so it becomes more neat and that is the first row ready now we start the second row. The first two we have to purl them, but the first one I prefer not to do it, so I put it directly on the needle. And I purl the second one. If you want to purl it, you can always purl it, but I recommend that you don't purl it, because so the edge become more neat. And I knit one. I purl two. One. And two. And I knit one. You continue all the row like that. I purl two, one, and two, and I knit one. I purl two, one, and two, and I knit one. I purl two, one, and two, and I knit one. I purl two. One and two and I knit one and I have the last two and the last two I purl them one and the last one I prefer to to work it from here put the needle here I prefer to work it like that so that it becomes more neat the edges and that is the second row now we're going to start the third row and the third row we started the first two we knit them. And as I told you, the first one I don't like to knit it. So I put it directly on the needle and I knit the second one. Now, we purl the next one. And we're going to knit two together. Knit two together. Two stitches together, like that. And then turn the thread on the needle. And we purl one. 
Again, we start from the beginning. We need two, one, and two. We pair one. We need two together. And we turn the thread on the needle. And we pearl one. Again, we need two, one, and two. We pearl one. We need two together. We turn the thread on the needle. We pearl one. And we have the last two remaining. And we're going to knit them one. And the last one, as I told you, I prefer to knit it from here. And two. And that is the third row. Now the fourth row is like the second row. The first two we pearl them. The first one I prefer not to knit it. And I'm going to knit the pearl to pearl the second one. And we knit one. We pearl two. One. And two. And we knit one. We pearl two. One. And two. And we knit one. We pearl two. One. And two, and we knit one. We pair two, one, and two, and we knit one. We pair two, one, and two, and we knit one. And we have the last two, and we're going to pair them one. And the last one, as I told you, I prefer to pearl it from here, to knit it from here. And that is the fourth row levy. And these are the four rows that you have to know. These are the fourth ro four rows that you have to learn. You continue, and then you start again from the first one that I showed you. You continue with these four rows and show you how um, the pattern comes. And this is the final result, how it comes. As I told you, you have to repeat always those four rows always repeat them um, as you have seen it's not difficult to make um, as I told you it's ideal for a scarf it would be ideal for a scarf this, this pattern um, hope that you found this video useful and that you try it bye for now